when you go to the market there are so many sellers with many similar things but at the end of the day you have to make a choice because at the end of the day you have to go back home with whatever took you to the market this is the choice we made <laughs> on the washing machine this is what we decided to bring home and in this video we are going to show you guys why we chose this welcome and welcome back to favorite top mate if you are a new subscriber karibu sana you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber mwah, thank you so much for coming back my name is sally and in this channel we like to talk a lot laugh and just live life as it is so i really don't know if today's video falls under the category of vlogs or I don't know which category this will fall under but then I would like to share with you um, our most recent purchase which is a washing machine the reason why I'm sharing with you guys this information is because ourselves to before buying this machine we had to do quite a lot of research especially concerning this particular brand that we bought and yeah where's the first place to start doing your research Google but then Google since you want videos Google will definitely refer you to YouTube so we found ourselves here in YouTube and there was not so many reviews concerning this machine but we still made the purchase anyway because myself I have used machines uh, washing machines before so we kind of knew what we wanted but then you know you still you know what you want but you just need that guarantee that push you know that something something to tell you go for it yes and i before i take you to the washing machine and all that uh, there are two types there is the top load and the front load ourselves we opted to go with the top load machine for reasons that i'm going to explain to you guys later on so first let's lead to our laundry area in quotes because it's really not a laundry area um I think it's also important to discuss this so for those of us who rent houses I feel like we really don't have the privilege of doing you know doing some renovations that we would like to do or just making some adjustments that we would like to make in the house because for one which landlord will just allow you to use the house like you want and also number two after doing those adjustments when you're moving will you move with those things because doing making adjustments is money and doing the adjustments is also money you get so will you be making adjustments to every house you move to so yeah i think this should push us to work hard and build our own homes <laughs> anyway let's head over to the machine so this right here is uh is it is it mika or mica however you choose to pronounce it i think i'll go with mica so this right here is a mica mica whatever it is washing machine as you can see this is where we've decided to put our machine because this is our presumed laundry area this is the presumed laundry area because as you can see that is the washroom that is our washroom so this was the most convenient place to have this machine first and foremost we chose to take the top load washing machine because of few reasons one of them being price wise actually that is on top of the list the difference between this 8 kg um top load machine and the 8 kg front load machine was coming to roughly around 10,000 kenya shillings as i said previously myself i have used machines before i have used both the top load and the front load and there is really not much difference actually um I prefer top load washing machines for the following reasons. Number one, you do not have to bend all the time when you want to put in clothes. As you can see, you just stand because it is like your waist height. If you are as tall as me, you still do not have to bend. So that is the number one and also greatest advantage for me. Number two, I strongly feel like the 
the drum of the top load machine even though it's 8 kgs it is spacious and even though this is not recommended or advisable you can sometimes go beyond the 8 kgs another reason is for this top load washing machine we have this pause function right here whereby if you start washing and halfway through the washing you realize that there's some clothes that you've left out and probably they are light and they just need some easy washing you can simply press the post machine and still open and put in your clothes as opposed to the uh, to the front load machine for the front load machine once you switch the on button the power button and once you start washing that's it for you you cannot go back you cannot start adding clothes so that's another advantage advantage of the top load machine and one um other advantage of this top load machine i feel like for this drum you can easily wash things such as heavy duvets and heavy blankets and also ours is an 8 kg one i noticed that for these top load washing machines they go up to is it 16 or 18 kgs i stand to be corrected but i saw even a 16 kg one i am yet to see a top load washing machine uh, for home use not commercial i'm yet to see a front a front load yes i am yet to see a front load washing machine that is above 8 kgs because when we we're doing our research we came to realize that m almost all the uh, home use front load washing machines are maximum of 8 kg so another very big advantage with this top load washing machine is that you can easily get if you have a big family or you have more washing needs etc etc if 8 kg is not enough for you you can go over and beyond and get uh, I saw yeah there was also 10 kg there was 13 kg there was even 16 kg I remember that very very well well anything that has advantages on the other hand also has disadvantages so the one disadvantage of this machine is the water consumption apparently the top load washing machine consumes more water than the front load for us that is not really a disadvantage because we live in mombasa and water is not a problem because most of the rental units over here water comes as as a rent package so you don't end up paying for water so that was not really a problem for us that's another reason why we opted for this machine another thing which might come as a disadvantage to other people or when it comes to this um what is it called top load machine is this space so this is the detergent space and i strongly believe this is the softener space i find this quite small and also the fact that the detergent can easily spill here before you're done it might be a disadvantage but as it's not really a disadvantage because ha, we go the kenyaji way we just put in our clothes and just sprinkle the powder so that's really not a disadvantage to us okay so before i take you guys through the installation of our entire machine and how we managed to install it inside a rental unit let me just take you through the components of the machine so as you can see here it is an 8 kg mica washing machine top load of course so this is the on off button this is the start or pause it's one touch so all these um what is it called all these programs are touch okay and then this is for the temperature so you can choose hot warm or cold actually this machine comes with two water pipes for the inlet it comes with a hot water pipe and a cold water pipe so during installation it depends on the kind of water you use in your home for us we use cold water because again Mombasa who uses hot water number two is the program yes so uh for the program we have eight programs yes so we have normal jeans mix soft strong heavy quick 15 and i clean so this just depends yesterday when after it was installed we actually did our very first wash using this machine and no we did two washes one was to clean the inside of the machine it is not compulsory to clean but first we were just doing it as a form of testing something of that sort so for our first wash we selected um quick 
yeah quick i quick 15 quick 15 minutes or you can or i clean yeah we selected this option and then when we put in the real clothes we selected the mix because we put in a mixture of clothes they were all bright colored clothes but then it was a mixture of cotton linen you know so we selected this and then for the rinse option once you select your program the rinse option selects once you select the program the rinse option automatically selects itself so you can see here from the rinse option we have one time twice or three times again one other disadvantage of this machine oh i already said this the water consumption so for those who are trying to conserve water okay we should all conserve water for those who water is a problem to them let me put it that way you can choose one time yeah but for us we really do not mind whichever it chooses here <laughs> let me just be honest with you guys and then when it comes to the function you can choose whether you want to spin rinse or wash again yesterday for the first one we were still testing we chose spin because we chose the uh, quick 15 so we chose to spin but then again when you set this program once you set once you program it once you program it these two will automatically program themselves okay yes and then this is the delay this will show you the time so the time will will be shown somewhere here so yeah the delay one shows you the time it takes to wash whatever clothes using whatever program that you have selected and then this is the water level so the water level goes from one all the way to eight Unfortunately, as I said, we did our washing yesterday and today's weather is not that good. We still have some laundry to do, but I can't be practical today. So probably I'll be practical in another video. Once we, uh, we are done with that, so let us move to the installation bit of the machine. First and foremost, this machine comes with... <coughs> Can I get it? Yes, it comes with this. This is to prevent rats from getting in there and eating up all your wires. So for those who have rat problems, they got you. <laughs> Next is this, which is the most important part. So this is how our installation was done. As I told you earlier, it is a rental unit. And most rental units in Kenya apparently do not give much considerations to putting laundry like putting up a laundry area or just giving you space where in future you can install a washing machine that is never considered when building most of these units so for us we chose our wash hand basin initially before buying this machine we were thinking of using the bathroom as an outlet but then um when doing our research we realized that the machine comes with an inbuilt pump that therefore means that if we put the if we make the bathroom the outlet we might have cases of siphoning back the dirty water because it has its own inbuilt pump so we therefore choose as we chose a slightly raised outlet which is our wash hand basin so here in the wash hand basin um we called a plumber who identified our inlet and our outlet so this right here will be our inlet this tap was not here initially so the plumber just created room for this tap and installed this tap for this for this um for this part you need a, an experienced person don't do your mother go then you have to require be care for this part you really seriously need a plumber if you're not a plumber yourself you need to get one plumber so this is our inlet and then this is our outlet which you can see clearly this outlet shares an outlet with our sink yeah so yeah once again i did um, i have done this video to just share with you guys this entire why we why why top load over front load and remember like it's a free world everyone has their opinions everyone has their choices so <laughs> this video is not to try to convince you to get a top load no we settled for top load because that's what we can deal with at the moment and that's what serves us at the moment so yeah if you want a front load you can go ahead and get a front load but for us right now top load is okay for us it is serving us just right another thing is i hope you have learned something from this one if you are planning to purchase a washing machine do your research consult a plumber <laughs> make sure you have an inlet and an outlet and voila yeah um as i said 
uh, again in a video. I just explain today I'm not doing any laundry, but when I'll be doing laundry, I'll also film that so that this video can be complete. So, thank you once more for tuning in to Favorite Talkmates.